Yo, what's good everyone on YouTube? Thank you guys so much for tuning in back for another video. This video is going to be a little different. Um, I went ahead and did a Raiders photo shoot and I kind of wanted to share that with you guys, the whole process of being, say, a model. I have never really done anything that big in my life until now, um, but I thought it would be cool to share the process. We also did go thrifting, had a couple random clips. This vlog is definitely just me living my life throughout the week, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I really uh, appreciate all the support as of lately. Subscribe if you guys are new here, Instagram and everything, all the details. Um, but yeah, enjoy the vlog. Peace. So doing a voiceover through this vlog because on day one, I didn't know what to expect. So I didn't really bring my vlog camera and uh, they took care of us with some breakfast and we got put through some hair and makeup. This was the first scene. Unfortunately, I got a fresh cut and they put me in a hat, man. Why do I always get put in a hat? Anyways, first day was kind of just me being an extra on set. I wasn't really the main character until day two. Shout out to the homie Michael. Shout out to Jalen and Jazlyn. What's funny was that around this time, Devontae Adams was still a Raiders player, but they had us remove all his jerseys from this set. So I definitely knew something before he got traded. Anyways, they gave us some great snacks, took a break. And then the next scene, we actually headed into the stadium. The stadium was completely empty. Um, it was just us and a couple of the people touring the whole station. I didn't know this, but they roll in the grass. So there was no grass on the field this day. Um, this is my second time. Hopefully maybe sometime this year I can actually go to a game and have some fun. But overall, really cool experience. Going through some more hair and makeup right here before the final scene of the day. And uh, I honestly don't know where this is going to be aired or pushed out to, but if you guys see me repost this on Instagram, show love to that post, please. Day two is today. So day one was a good time. Shout out to everyone from the LA team and also just the Raiders team for taking care of us. Being in the Allegiant Stadium was pretty cool. Um, I actually don't know where all this stuff is going to get posted to, but hopefully we can see it all together, whether it's through Instagram or maybe I'll show it in a future vlog but today is day two and today our roles as a group is going to be a lot bigger we're actually doing full hair and makeup today um, a lot of outfit changes and then we have the whole squad so i will bring my vlog camera this time around i really hope you guys enjoy this portion of my life and um, it's really great so raiders shoot day two i'm a little nervous but i'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun I'm gonna go grab some coffee. I probably should have ate some breakfast. I really didn't eat much, but um, maybe I'll do that right now. I have some time. All right, so they took, taking care of us again with all the snacks, breakfast burritos. I brought my vlog camera this time. I know, I did too. But um, yogurt. I feel like we're in a little house party right now. All right, guys, main character today. Got the crew with me. Weird. Um, yesterday we were just extras. Today we're doing a little more. And uh, I thought they were going to give me full makeup. You know, I, I want my face to be beat type shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they just gave us powder. But it is what it is. It's fun, man. Well taken care of. We'll see where the day takes us. I think I might do it in a hoodie. Cooking. <laughs> I feel like I look, do I look goofy in the sunglasses? We got J and J shooting. What we on, bro? Water gang. Cooking all day. In the hoodie. In the hoodie. Cooking all day. We got it done. No, my guy, my guy, my guy, my guy looks like, you look like the light-skinned Captain America that came bro, out of the chamber, bro. Look, I'm in an elevator. No, it's your... Good morning, Sergeant. With the camel pants. <laughs> I'm about to beat everybody's ass here. <laughs> Alright, y'all, that's... I wasn't filming that whole time, by the way. But, that's a wrap on the Raiders shoot. Shout out to everyone back here. We had a good time. Raiders gave us some good hospitality, and uh, I have to go to work. I am so tired, and we're gonna go out tonight with the uh, styling crew. So shout out to Joe and Tony. If I don't doubt they're watching this, but where did we park? Right here. 
What's good guys, so random clip of this vlog, I'm packaging up orders for Flakes Closet. If you guys don't know about Flakes Closet, it's kind of my way of providing steals and deals for the community that supports me. A lot. Some people may ask like why do I throw out really good deals, it's just because I feel like it's a good way to give back to you guys, kind of just throwing out really good prices. So I recently just got rid of my 2017 pair of Royals right here. I am for sure going to miss these, but I kind of just had them sitting around the house and I could definitely use the extra money as of right now. But inside the box, I went ahead and found this raffle ticket from Shoe Palace, um, size nine and a half, it says my name on there. But the funny thing is, is that I remember this raffle ticket being rigged and all I would do is just give the guy 20 bucks. That's all I gave him for uh, shoes for retail from Shoe Palace. Uh, shout out to that plug because he actually hooked it up a lot um, back in the day and retail on these ones 160. So we just sold these for 50 bucks on my website. Shout out to Anthony. These will be shipped out to you, and um, yeah, gonna package up a little more. I just wanted to share that. It's so funny because it's really who you know. You can get away a way. You can get away with a lot back in the day if you take care of those who took care of you. Kind of same concept works today, but um, twenty bucks on top of retail to get a pair of shoes that were kind of really hot at the time. I'll take it. Hello. Oh, yo, what's Gucci guys? Uh, a little tired right now. I woke up at 6 a.m. for some odd reason this morning and I couldn't really get my mind straight to go back to sleep. And then I uploaded the Richie Lee collection video. Uh, just a lot going on. A lot of good things going on. I just wanted to update you with the vlog. Right now I'm going to grab some coffee. It's actually the first cold day in Vegas and I feel like a lot of people are just vibing out downtown. Uh, honestly, downtown is really far from the new spot, but I just really love it down here. It kind of helps me disengage from my phone from my laptop i feel like i'm always staring at screens so today i brought my journal brought some music and i'm just gonna hang out a bit all right guys so we went thrifting and uh i don't know if you consider this really thrifting it's kind of just like secondhand stores but they had this rude uh zara collaboration the amelie on dior 12s these are kind of fire i just don't see myself ever wearing 12s nyc air forces whoever was the size 11 really sold their collection to the shop because they had a ton of crazy okay, stuff to be honest with today's you today's fit originally hat originally sweater white flake studios underneath black tailor pants pearlized vans and uh, we're gonna try on these three flannels here so this one 25 bucks i feel like that's this one might be a pass i don't know these ones screamed out to me a little more. But I'm just trying to get my flannel rotation up, you know what I mean? This one's 25 as well. And then this 2XL, which I'm gonna crop, is only 18. I feel like they're kind of, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't try them on. I think this is the prime example of don't pay attention to the tag size. This one's labeled a 2XL, but clearly it fits me kind of like a larger medium. I do like this flannel. Okay, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cop it. I don't know if you guys can hear the song, but I really like this song, that feature. <laughs> Anyways, this one's too small on me. I think I'm gonna pass up on the next two. So, this one's a cop. Yo guys, so today we're at Better Days. Uh, this is Ash and Friends. I vended and I made like 70 bucks, but I'm really just here to hang out. Um, quit fit breakdown, right? We're gonna do vintage Carhartt, Black Taylor. Whoa, whoa. What? What? Oh, we gotta start off with a hat. That's not the right order. Shoes? He's, okay, you can't hear him, but he said not the right order. Brandon, 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 how's your night going? Quick interview, quick interview. It's going good. Thanks for coming out if you were here. If you weren't here, come to the next one. We'll probably have another one soon. Yes, dude. Can we do a quick outfit breakdown from you? From me? Okay, let's start at the top. Banana Republic workwear jacket. Eh? Fire. Ash. New Ash t-shirt. Fire. Online soon. Online soon, maybe. Ash hat. Carhartt pants. Doc Martin shoes. I don't know. Whatever. Congrats on all your success, buy clothes, man. Don't buy clothes. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy. He's running this whole thing. Anyways, start off with the Ricks. 
thing juice. Uh, just got these. I don't know if I'm going to get copyrighted from this music, but hopefully not. Uh, Black Taylor pants, vintage Carhartt, Flake Studio hat, one of one with purple. And uh, we have Mr. JRA behind the camera right here. <laughs> but yeah, love you guys. Quiff. Yo, back at it. Back at it again, yo. Back at it, yo. <laughs> and Ian, thank you for reviewing this. I love you. <laughs> Where does this go? What do we have here, dude? Pink Ash. Uh, Ash and Friends exclusive hat, camo hat. We come through. Actually, you can't come through. Like the events are already done. Are these going to go online? They don't sell it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yo. Everyone's, the shape of everyone's head is different, right? So, you know, you just want to make sure that it complements, right? Right, Ian? You want to make sure it just complements, right? Exactly. Whatever JR says. Exactly. But yeah. sing it, sing it, sing it. <laughs> you just want to make sure it complements. All right, y'all, shorter vlog. I don't know why I have so much energy this morning. I didn't mean to scream at the camera here. I ended up buying that flannel. Um, do I regret it? Probably, because, I don't know, I have too many clothes, and I only wear needles flannels, as you guys may know. There's a ton of good stuff happening on the channel, um, a lot of stuff behind the scenes. We actually got some of the gallery wall done for my new apartment. Um, I do have to do an apartment tour very, very soon. Johnny's going to help me. My homie Johnny's going to help me put these up, finish the wall up. And, um, yeah, so we have a couple pieces of art here. This is my favorite section. So we have a good 808 and Heartbreaks. So this means a lot to me because this is my first album that my dad ever purchased me for me when I was, uh, when I was a young lad. And then we have the Syndicate ball. Um, just a cool ball. I've never seen a pink basketball, so I went ahead put the two and two together and uh there's the thumbnail i don't know um but yeah all right guys but yeah uh i just wanted to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here like i said it is a shorter vlog but i really hope you guys enjoyed it there's a lot of good opportunities happening in life right now um and maybe i kind of sweep everything under the rug but i truly appreciate everyone for the support whether it's talking to you guys through instagram talking to you guys through discord um, even just having natural conversations in person. It's really cool to meet you guys I will be going to complex con in November So if you guys do see me there, please say what's up. I would love to chop it up hang out a bit Maybe even grab a drink or whatever. I don't know where that whole complex con is gonna take me I feel like it is gonna be a little wild, but we do have some pickups on the way some more styling videos on the way I just wanted to share this vlog so I can look back at it in the past but yeah Something told me to end off this vlog by, if you're watching this right now, I know I have like 4% woman viewers. Shout out to all the ladies who watch this. Um, or if you're watching, I don't know. Just shout out to the ladies. But I just, something felt, <laughs> but something I have felt called to do as of lately through my platform, through my um, whole Instagram and YouTube, I just feel like saying this, if you are a single man and you're struggling like I am or I was, once was, or still am, I don't know, I just wanted to say like keep busy, stay close to God, stay close to your family, stay close to your friends. I know it's really hard to be a guy um, and just kind of just go through the whole flow of life, especially if you're single or if you're going through a breakup. Um, trust, bro, trust me. I feel like uh, life has changed really well in a good direction. Um, but we got to keep pushing, keep pushing forward. So if you're going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing like me, I just say like, keep busy, bro. Stay busy, stay on top of your grind and, um, you'll have your rough days. You'll have your bad days, but the, the good days are coming. You know, the bad days are over. Shout out to that. I don't, or no, it's the dog days are over. I don't know. Anyways, um, I did feel called to say something like that on this video. So I just wanted to wrap it up on that note. If you guys stayed for my little rant, please drop the basketball emoji just so you guys watch the whole way through. Make sure to go ahead, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, subscribe if you guys are new here. And uh, I greatly appreciate you guys so much for all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys have an amazing blessed day and um, we'll talk soon. Peace.